Hey guys, today's tutorial is for trill spots. Not the trill that we see in Next Generation, but rather the ones that we see in Deep Space Nine, um, and particularly Jazdia Dax. I'm actually going to be including her hair in this tutorial as well. All you really need for this is one color of face paint. I'm going to be using a light brown shade, or alternatively, you could use a eye pencil like for eyeliner. That would be really good because you'll have so much more precision um, and there's such a range of colors so you can find something really suitable and it will last a lot longer, it'll, it'll wear better. First thing is to tie my hair out of the way so it's not in my face. Before I start, it's worth pointing out that you can do your makeup however that you want to do it. Um, so I have nothing special, I just kept it the way I, I just felt like doing my makeup today. Um, but if you did want to be more reminiscent of Jazdia, you could go for kind of a dark smoky eye and kind of a, a brown lipstick with a little bit of a red tone. I'm going to insert a photo where we see her makeup like this. Starting at the temples, take your brush or pencil, whichever you're using, and make kind of a curved shape. Fill it with a little dot. So as you can see, after I did my temple, I worked my way along my hairline um, and just along the sides of my face. Another really nice shape to make is kind of like a leopard ring. I've done one up here. Um, it's almost like an open, lopsided square with a little dot in the center. I'll just do one right here. It's a little bit difficult to do because I'm trying to do it via the viewfinder on this camera. There we go. And then just a little bit of a dot in the middle. Warped triangles are a really nice shape too. I've got a couple of them. Um, there's a good one right there you can see. I've zoomed out for this next part. Um, I just want to show you what you could do with your chill spots once you're finished with your face. Um, you can bring them down the side of your neck, um, down your front kind of along the neckline of your shirt, and then all the way down your waist like there. Or you can bring them down your back, so join them kind of at the nape of your neck. I hope you guys can hear this. And then take it down your spine. But I think this costume is really nice because you can have varying degrees of spots. You can just do your face like I've done, or you could do most of your body because they really are unique to each trill. And even just within the TV series, and I'll probably show a few photos right now, um, but different trills do have different amounts of spots. Some don't even have them on their face. They just have them along um, their shoulders and stuff. So definitely you can play around with this and just do it to the amount that you feel comfortable wearing. Okay, I did promise that I would do the hair as well for this. It only takes a minute. Okay, for the hair, start by brushing your hair out. I'm just using like a paddle brush, I guess you would call this. You don't have to have a certain length of hair to be a trill. They're very humanoid, um, which is why you can leave your makeup the way you want and you can um, dress the way you want, really. Justina Dax does have a little bit of a poof to her hair. Um, not quite as much as Snooky, but in a little bit of a 50s kind of vibe. Um, so to mimic this, I'm just gonna take the front section of my hair. Once you're happy that you have a good amount of hair and you look kind of like a troll like I do right now, um, just take a comb, this one's relatively fine toothed, I guess, teeth, um, and just pull it straight down. This is back combing, um, which is literally exactly how it sounds. You're just pulling your hair back down using a comb. Um, I should add that this is really, really bad for your hair um, because when you look at the fibers and like the structure of an individual strand of hair, um, this just completely pulls it apart and damages it. But I figured it was worth the risk because, to be honest, your hair is dead anyways. I'm just going to take a little bit more at the front, back comb this as well. When you're trying to get this out of your hair later on, do not put a hairbrush to it. Honestly, I just jump straight into the shower, take some conditioner, and just kind of massage it into my hair. Um, and then I shampoo and condition as normal to get rid of the rest of the knots. Um, it is not worth trying to brush out. But I am going to just kind of smooth it over. This isn't really brushing because I'm just taking the very finest top layer and smoothing it. We're going to secure this poof with some bobby pins. So, take your hair like this. And then just with a few bobby pins, we're just going to secure it. Then taking the side sections of my hair, I'm just gonna brush this out to get rid of some knots. We're not gonna be back combing this. We're just going to pull it straight back, quite tight and close to our face, and then pin it into place. Okay, then with all of your hair, we're going to pull it back into a relatively high ponytail. I 
said earlier that if you want to copy Jesdee's makeup as well, um, a dark smoky eye and kind of a brownie red lipstick would look really good. Then taking some hairspray or a little bit of hair wax, which is what I'm going to be using, um, just kind of get any little baby hairs that might become some trouble. And of course some hairspray is to keep your poof in place. Mine's deflating already because I didn't use hairspray. Once you are happy with your poof, with your hairpins, with your ponytail, you are finished being Jesdia Dax. As for clothing, really you could wear it with anything you really want to because like I said, they are very humanoid. So their fashion isn't gonna to be too much different than the rest of the Federation's fashion. Bye-bye.